ですか Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that guy. We gotta get on that shot. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? There we go. <laughs> Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming? You, uh, you rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, man. I know, yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh, it's like I said, I'll be back. Boozer? Another Nero chopper. I wonder what the hell they're up to. Years ago, we had photos. We 
Nero death camps built to hold us American citizens. No one believed me. If more of us had spoken up, none of this would have happened. Well, you were right about one thing, Coke. All these Nero refugee camps, they did turn out to be death camps, just not the way you were expecting. Hello, squatter camp. Sons of bitches have been setting up ambushes around here, yeah. That's it. Roads will be 
a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. Bunker, yeah, I bet they had a bunker. Just gotta find it. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again. And some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history, but we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not gonna roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds, or rippers, or marauders think they're gonna come rolling into my wilderness, they got another thing coming. The strongest survive. The strongest take. And the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Listen to Cope, law and order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo.
gate. It's a drifter, let him in. Oh, how's it going? Looks like we've got a few ears here. Hey, man. Get the lead out. Want to eat? Get back to work. Ooh, I got some gas here. Fill her up. See ya. Later. How you doing? What do you need? Hey, what's up? Can I get anything else for you? Need anything else? Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. I'm gonna go patrol around for a bit. That's a good one. This will do you good out there. Here, good as new. No, 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 no. Come by if you still need something. See you around. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hold on. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, we were fighting for our freedoms. We gained the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. The right we used to protect ourselves, our families, our property. That is, until the ever growing federal government got scared of the they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could, using a few mass shootings as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there went the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. When all this shit went down, if every American was packing more, do you think we'd be in this mess? how the feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws really protect? Sure as hell wasn't us, the American taxpayers. Nah, someday. We have to take Gotta be this. right around here. I wanna take a poll. I bet those who survived, <laughs> those who had guns. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hand. Hands on. Ain't no one taking them away from me.
You're gonna be okay. You're gonna die out here. I know of a camp where it's safe. Camp? Where? Where? where, where sh show me. I'll go. I'll go. Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Oh. I was done for. Holy shit, you know? Thank I guess I'll come so back much. here and finish oh, burning man. this in. Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Now just keep running. Stay off the roads. right here. Boozer, you got that bounties. The only reason that I go up here.
hold on, hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out. Get back here with that little shit that's mine! Ah, uh, finally! Jesus Christ, those shits can run fast. So, what the hell are they doing? Looked like they were out here... Shit, wrangling freaks, I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What do you mean? You know, like tying it up. Taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers. Bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't... you don't think that Sarah... 
No, no, not, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, and he's alive, Boozer, he's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down, if I can. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later, Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien, where the hell are you? Hey. Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh. That is just perfect. <laughs> that, that is great. That is great. So about those directions? I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! Could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. Um, I don't, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, a. Uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry. Um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, 
I don't know where Road I Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. <clears throat> all right, I just... <sighs> just give me a second. <sighs> There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> You weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. So you're not from around here? No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so... The company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. Oh, what the hell? Clay, we got company. Oh, All right, gentlemen. Hit him again. Now you like that bike, boy. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Him. Oh, you don't learn, do you, bike? Watch old boy. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, I, no, no. I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, it's I, I right. saw that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were no You know what we're gonna no do? Bars. We're gonna, gonna do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here. Until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted at Marion Forks. Open fire! Tucker, Hot Springs Camp, you there? I'm gonna need more info on that survivor Larson spotted at Marion Forks. Deacon, I already told you everything I know. Young, a woman. Wait, I mentioned how routines. That old pancake house by the East Bridge. 
Lumberjack. Big stack of pancakes. Yeah, I know the one. Okay, I'll start there. You do that. And remember, bring her to me. A group of drifters came through the other day, traded us a few guns. Maybe something you could use. I'll keep that in mind. Deacon out. Marauders, good. Yeah, we will be. Huh? Ah. to be it. Camp full of squatters. You're the assholes who tried to ambush me. and thieves and I can't let any of them escape. Something's here. Yeah. What was that? What? Something's not right here. Something's wrong? <laughs> what was Someone's that? Someone's here. Something's, Something's out here. going on. What the hell? <clears throat> I see Open him back! Around. Get him! 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 Get him!
That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You ain't sons of bitch. All right, where did you hide your bunk up? I know you got one. Let's go. That's it. 